Hey there. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I am Belle from Team Oye, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use our brand new events manager. So to start, open up one of your existing workspaces or make a new one, and then go to the workspace dropdown. And here you will now find manage events. Click on that and you'll get this modal that prompts you to make a new event. And it will appear here titled new event and it will show as a draft and it will remain that way until you click create event. So I'll start just by naming my new event Bell's test, giving it a start time of we'll say tomorrow at four o'clock p.m. And then the system settings default it to ending an hour later, but you can open up that property and change it to whatever time you want. So I'll just change it to two hours later. And then you select the starting room. So the workspace default is going to be whichever room is listed first in your admin rooms list, or you can decide that you want users to land in a different spot. For now, I'm going to say elevator. And then down here, the registration page, it's going to give you an option to you know, upload two images. When you click to add a photo, it will open your asset library. So I'm just going to pick two random images from my asset library. But if you have images with text on them, you can also upload from your computer or from your Google Drive as if you're adding a regular image element to the canvas. So I'll just I'll just upload these two for now. And then here you can give your event a description. Bell is testing now. And then you can style the text color, text background, title font, title font size, title alignment, button color, button font, and button font color all right below. So it defaults to our brand colors, but feel free to change these to whatever you see fit. And these, you have all the options that you have on a normal text element in the OEA editor. So you can add a row to allow users to sort of identify themselves. So if I say, what position are you in? And we can give the user some drop down options and give them categories to select from managerial, add, programs, manager, etc. And now we have some ways of collecting data about who is attending our event. So let's go ahead and create event now. And now that we have been taken to this sec like the second step, we can copy our registration link. We can click save if we make any changes. So if, when we open email management, we can create an email very similar to if you've ever used Eventbrite. You can create an email to send to those invited by dragging some different elements and content to this canvas. You can create an event schedule. Determine the time, the start and end time of that individual event in your overall programming. You can say which room it is happening in. I'll just go ahead and say that's happening in Atrium Lobby for now. And you can add more events as well. So you can add a second line. I'm going to delete that. And I'm just going to save that event for right now to show you that you can now also, I'm going to close out, add scheduled events. To your canvas. Where is it? It might be an advanced. Yeah, event schedule here. We'll drag that to the canvas, open its advanced settings, 
And here in the event under element, we select which event we want it to reflect. So I'm going to say we want it to reflect the event that we just created, Bell's test. And now you can see that this schedule has appeared that we have populated our test event with. So let's reopen that modal. And here we can see the users who have registered. So sending out that link will prompt users to register for your event, and you will see those registered users in that menu. So if you have any questions, please let us know. Go ahead and get started experimenting with this. We'd love to hear your feedback and how we can improve the new events manager to fit your needs. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, and have a great day.